Good morning, everyone. A video was sent to me by a channel called Kiko 5150 Estrada. This guy's vehicle looks like it came out of a Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome movie. And because of that, people are always calling the police on this guy. Police come up and talk to him in this video, and they're going to have an encounter. But one of the things I learned about this video was, if you have a misdemeanor warrant in another state, if you're in a different state, they won't extradite you for it. I thought they extradited you for every single little thing in the United States if you get arrested. You have a warrant. Say you get a warrant in New York and you come to California. I thought they'd extradite you. Maybe they don't. Watch this video. Let me know what you guys think. You got a car road. Yeah. Where are you headed to? Uh, North Carolina. Get back. Yeah, I'm okay. Go on. Naturally, folks, I don't answer questions when being asked by police. It's extremely important to shut up, not answer any of their questions. But this video was a little odd to me. These police officers seem to have a good attitude. They were dispatched out there. And at the end of the day, they do let this man go. He did have a couple misdemeanor warrants in a couple different states, but they really didn't seem to care. Could they have extradited him if they wanted to? Let me know what you guys think. Keep watching the video. actually been here for 15 minutes and I bought some food here and I ate it so it's not that long actually well, I'm just going by what dispatch called us you got dispatched out here yeah that's weird that's crazy man I was just speaking so highly of this place too that's crazy I have to take that back huh I've been recording my adventures all the way down here and I've been kind of keeping my encounters with the cops too because I feel like I'm being harassed. Yeah, every state I go to, I get stopped at least two, three times. So, I mean, after a while, it's, uh, it's harassment. You just want me to grab the paper because it says I need to update my yeah, app. Yeah, yeah, if you got the paper, that'd be better. So you vow to drive? Val, to. Valid driver? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be driving if I wasn't. What's his name? Mm -hmm. Where did you just come from? What state? Uh, Nebraska. Yeah, Nebraska is beautiful. Actually, the cops out there are super chill. They don't harass you. I mean, once you get stopped like two, three times in one right. state, that's harassment. You know what I mean? Like I told the other cop in uh, what was that state? Um, because I had problems with the state last time too. Because I've done this a couple times. Um, whatever the state was, I told the cop. I said, dude, this is like third time. You guys can't run my name and see you just stopped me two times in one hour before yeah, that. See, we can't. Right. We can't. You can, and that shows up on our screen. It doesn't say that you've been stopped. No. Okay. I mean, you could tell me that, hey, I just got stopped in, yeah, yeah, say, the yeah. county over, and I yeah. could call one of them. And it be was, like, oh, I think yeah. it was Ohio, maybe, right. or something. It was like one of those states. It was it was the next one over from uh, Colorado. Right. They're really prejudiced. Now, they, see, if you, now say, say you got a ticket, yeah. and we pulled it up, or we yeah. um, pull your name, then we could see that you got uh, a ticket. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. It doesn't show that, like, this vehicle's been stopped. Oh, okay. No, I was wondering. I was like, man, that's yeah, kind of no, harassment. No, like, we don't. We every time it's like every time they see this car is just I, I get it like right. look well, at the it car kinda draws, it kind of yeah, look at the car you know now. but I mean right. no, so, I, yeah, I'm not doing nothing so I don't care my biggest concern is my dog you know right. like, no I she's super protective of me no, so I totally understand yeah. I actually got stopped in Colorado and the cop looked at me he just started laughing he said you know it's the car right and I said <laughs> yeah I get it and he's well, like all right I, you have a good day you know what? I can see that too. I get it out here though. I mean, I wouldn't expect it because last time I was out here, everybody was super friendly. Right. Like the guy at the Dollar General, he helped me fix my van last time because right. I was driving a van last time and he helped me fix my van. He was awesome. Like people out here are pretty awesome. Guy, I got a haircut over here at the barber shop. Oh, they're on the across square. Across from the um, by, by courthouse. Yeah. yeah. He's a hell of a barber. Yeah, he's, he's one of the best barbers he, ever. He cuts a lot of hair. Yeah. I did a YouTube video for him promoting his business. Cause really? Like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, he's one of the best barbers. Like, my cousin cuts hair too, but right. he, he's usually the only person I trust with my hair. Right. Like, he, he was awesome, though. He, uh, the kids love going in there because he'll pull the old quarter out of the ear while he's... Oh, uh, yeah, he did that for me. While he's cutting <laughs> their hair. And they think, oh, my God, I got a quarter in my ear. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, his name's Dick, huh? Yeah, he's Dick. a good guy. Yep, Dick yeah. Simpson. Yeah, he's a pro he's, he's been professional. Doing a long time. You could tell he's yeah. really good. Uh, yep, talks the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can... Good customer service. Exactly. Yeah. He's not very many barbers around. There's yeah. beauticians everywhere. Oh, really? Yeah, that's the only barber in the county. Oh, damn. Yeah. I didn't know that. I came across him because I was broke down at that Dollar General right. last time with my van. Right. And they, they were going to help me work on my van, so I went to Napa to get the part. And when I seen him, I was like, you really know how to cut hair? You're just here. <laughs> He's like, man, I'm one of the best. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm going right. to take you up on that then. Let's see. Yeah, no, he won an award here. That's what he told Maybe me. Maybe a couple years ago, State Barber of the Year. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. They got, He's got a plaque hanging up. Yeah. His family, they did a big, big, big thing for him. That's what he told me. His daughter did something for him. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't know where it's at. I mean, you could just give me a ticket. I just won't come back to the state. I already got tickets in a couple of states. I don't care. What's that? It doesn't matter. What'd you say about other states? I got a couple of tickets in other states too. Uh, Not for? for this, but uh, one was for curfew. It was a bullshit ticket. I was out recycling in California. And a uh, marina patrol came by and he started harassing me and stuff and kind of threw me against the car and was roughing me up. And I started making fun of him and telling him, like, you like roughing me up? Does that turn you on or something? And he got an attitude and he was like, all right, you know what? And he's like, cool, I'll write you a ticket. I'm like, I just won't come back to the state. It's cool. I don't care. It doesn't matter. All right, hang tight. Yeah, that's not non-extraditable one in Colorado, so... Right now. Missouri and then North Carolina to Here's go to deal. this I'm job. Kick you loose. Okay, I appreciate it. But anyway, thank you. But it's not extraditable. But I yeah. know. But I'm yeah, telling yeah. you, it ain't gonna go away, dude. Oh, you I might know. as well get it taken care of. Well, I just don't go back to Colorado. I went to I'm Colorado and I got pulled over, and the cop looked at me and he started laughing. He goes, "You know, you got a warrant, right?" And I said, "Yeah." He looked at my dogs. He's like, "It ain't gonna go away." So I'm just encouraging you to get it taken care of and move well, on. But, but that's the thing about it. See, they they called me when I was leaving Colorado, and he said, uh, "I'm gonna have to issue a warrant for your arrest if you don't turn yourself in." And he said, "What happened?" And then I told him my ex-wife, well, my wife at the time, she hit me and i blocked in and i was laughing at her and then she slipped one into my face and as soon as she hit me in the face i hit her back and then he's like oh well since you hit her back and then you need to turn yourself in there's more for your wrist i'm like dude that's self-defense she was hitting me you know what so i mean don't I'm plead like, your case you're, you're the i'm not gonna go to jail just to well, be innocent it's gonna be there yeah well as long as i don't go to colorado right, right. Until <laughs> so one of these days they're tired of looking at just make it United States wide. Uh, they could do it. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah there's, and there's a couple keys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if they, want. they did that with um actually a possession of marijuana. They did that to Arizona. I had a medical marijuana card and I had a bud pipe with me and he said, Oh well, um that's still possession because you don't have it for here. And I was like, well, that don't make no sense. I still have a fucking car saying that I'm cool. And he's like, no, nah, not for here you don't. So he gave me a ticket. And I was like, okay, I just won't come back to the state. And then I was in California and he stopped me like over and over and over and over. And I was like, dude, they're not going to extradite me on that. And then they put in the system twice and he extradited me for it. I had to go all the way back to Arizona for it. I, yeah, we sent a guy back to Texas the other day. They come and got him over. Yeah. Misdemeanor, hey. huh? What the hell? It'll, I mean, well, it'll I just stay out of trouble. Yeah, I just stay out of. Different. I mean, I just stay out of trouble. That's the best way to do things, yeah. right? Like, as long as you don't mess All with right, them. Safe travels and good Thank luck. You. All right, you guys All be right. safe out there. Yeah. All right. Now I know this video is lackluster in excitement and the back and forth banter, but I did believe that this video was educational enough to share. I learned some things from this video. I've been involved in police accountability for quite some time now, and I'm still learning as I go, folks. Many of you out there know more than I do, so keep commenting. I do my best to go through the comment section, and I screenshot a lot of comments. I think in the near future, I'm going to be adding a lot of your comments into the videos, so keep them coming, guys. I'm definitely going to look more into this misdemeanor, non-extraditable thing. I'm going to try to find out more about it. Let me know in the comment section what you guys know. One of the things this man said to the officer was that his misdemeanor warrants are non-extraditable. But one of the officers did say that they did extradite someone on a misdemeanor recently. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you go subscribe to Kiko5150 Estrada. Let him know San Joaquin sent you. I'll see you guys over there. Have a wonderful day.
come.